When Gary Blair's staff was on the recruiting trail shortly after being hired, assistant coach Kelly Bond went out to watch prospect Aquanisha Franklin, who didn't make the best first impression. She's horrible. Horrible. I mean, one of the biggest stats for a point guard is turnovers, and Aqua had about 10 of them. When my assistants first told me about her, I said, oh, all right, yeah, that's good. Another real small point guard that would get lost in big time basketball. So the story of Aqua and Texas A&M could have ended right there. But neither side quit on each other. A&M continued to watch Aqua. Blair and his staff were finally convinced. She believed in us, we believed in her. And then by January of that year, early January, I'd seen enough. I said, that's who I want. That's the Aggie that's going to lead us to the NCAA tournament. And Franklin did just that, getting A&M back to the dance in 2006. It was her first of three appearances in the NCAAs. Franklin was named to an all-conference team three times and twice to an all-American team. She ranks in the school's top five in career assists, starts, and three-point percentage. She was at the forefront of success the entire time. The best teams are player-led teams, and that team, those teams back then were player-led, and it was not always easy, and I think that that's her legacy. That's her legacy as she was the ultimate leader. She started every game for me, made everybody else around her better. Isn't that what you want to do in life? Whether you're a teacher, whether you're a preacher, or whether you're just a regular friend, can you make people around you better? And that's what Aqua could do. A first impression is not as important as a lasting one. Ladies and gentlemen, Hall of Fame inductee, Aquanisha Franklin. I know when I walked in, I was about 5'7". I figured I would go into the Hall of Fame 5'3", so I put on my flats. <laughs> um, but I want to thank Coach Blair and Coach Bond for those words. Um, I was not their first option, um, but give it up to my mom. She knew that a and was the place for me, um, so I think she recruited them more than they recruited me. <laughs> and. Um, but the one thing is when, when they turned that ball over to me and they gave, Coach Blair gave me the keys to the car, I didn't want to disappoint him. Um, and so that's why I wanted to lead this team and this program. Um, so I thank them for, for their kind words. Um, before I go even further, I want to thank uh, my Lord and Savior Christ because um, without him, I wouldn't be here and in this position. Um, I want to thank the 12th Man Foundation, Kathy Capps, and Lynn, Lindsay Quisenberry uh, for this wonderful banquet and this eventful weekend. Um, and also congrats to all the, uh, my fellow Hall of Famers. Um, and I'm honored to be inducted with such an accomplished group. Um, one time for my Kansas family, can you guys stand up? We, uh, we, we, sell Kansas, we sell family at KU, and uh, I, I can't thank these guys enough for being here. Um, this means so much to me um, that they would fly out here and take their time away from their families um, to be here for my special day. Um, but head coach Brandon Schneider and his wife, Allie Schneider, uh, Texas A&M's own, Demetria Buchanan, uh, assistant coach Jory Collins, uh, Donnie Smith, Andy Majors, Dylan Geyser and Damon Young, who's right here with the camera. Uh, but I'm truly honored, blessed, grateful, and thankful to be standing in front of you, uh, a 5'3 point guard from Tyler, Texas. Uh, this was only a dream for me. Um, I would never imagine that I would be up here in front of you guys. Um, but I've always had a village behind me. Okay, and uh, they've always believed in me, pushed me to be the best that I could be. Um, <clears throat> going back to Coach Blair and his staff, uh, Jim Valvano said, the greatest gift anyone can give another person is believing in them, and that's what they did for me. Um, so I want to thank Coach Blair, Coach Kelly Bond-White, Vic Schaefer, 
Johnny Harris, Amy Tennyson, and uh, Amy Wright, who's actually on staff now. Um, <laughs> quick story, they, uh, I was practicing and Coach Blair wasn't satisfied. He's, oh, you're not going as hard as you can go and you're not being a great leader. That's okay, I got something for you. And uh, he, he said, I'm gonna bring back this point guard and he, he hired her on staff and she practiced with us for a couple of days and she's gonna kick your butt and, and all this stuff. But what she did was she brought out the best in me. Um, so I really wanted to thank Amy for that because she helped me better understand Coach Blair as a head coach and the staff um, and just understanding his philosophy. So I thank Amy for that. Uh, the support staff, Ingrid Woods in academics. I know I gave you a lot of trouble, I'm sorry. Uh, but thank you for helping me get my degree. Uh, Eric Birch, who always kept us fresh with gear. Um, he still takes care of us. Uh, I really appreciate him. Deanna Doles, uh, Charlie Miller, Radar, always walked around with his little tray. Uh, he was always great. Uh, Jen Jones, strength and conditioning coach. All the managers. Um, this next group is really special to me, guys. Um, you know, they didn't have to come back. And I mean, it's probably 12, 13 players uh, that came back to be here for, for our moment. It's not my moment, it's our moment. Um, and I, I saw this the other day, it said, behind every successful woman is a tribe of women that have her back. And that's what these guys have. They have my back and I have theirs. Um, I was a, a young kid coming in, and uh, some of these guys that are here were uh, older than me, um, but they allowed me to lead them. Um, sometimes I would mess up, and they would get on my butt, but um, they continued to follow me and push me and make me better. And that's why I'm here today, and that's why I'm in the profession I am in today, uh, because of them. Um, I'm not going in this Hall of Fame alone, so I want to list out the players that I play with. Uh, <clears throat> Tamia Tweedy Scales, Ogadi Chinweezy, Mindy Garrickson, Jen Wilkes, uh, Dr. Doolittle, <laughs> Jamila Gaynor, Erica Roy, uh, Charlotte Castile, Latoya Gully, Katie Pounds, Patrice Rito, Marini Kimo, Atun Roche, Takia TK Starks, Danielle DG Gant, Lincoln Zimova, Latoya Big Green Meshaw, Katrina Limbaha, Demetria Buchanan, Ashley Harden, Horton, uh, and then Z after that, I can't pronounce it. Ashley, I'm sorry. Um, Kylie Finstead, Tyra White, Marianne Baker, and Sydney Colson. Um, these, all these ladies have an impact me in some sort of way. Um, and, and, I, and I'm sure you will see some of them up here very, very soon. Um, but ladies, we're going in this Hall of Fame in 2018 together. Um, I want to thank the fans, the boosters, who always came in support. I always loved on the court, the best part of the game was when we all scream out, Aggies ball. That was always a big thing for me, because um, I knew I could get a little second of rest <laughs> before the ref hand us the ball. Um, but my Aggie family, I will forever be grateful for you guys. Um, and, and thank you guys for all your support. They still continue to support me, um, so I'm very thankful for them. Um, my family and friends that are here, uh, Tori Brown Johnson, um, really appreciate you. She worked in our office, um, but was a great friend. Her mom is Jackie, love the fried chicken. I played hard to get that fried chicken on Sundays. Um, Courtney Dickey, um, <laughs> that story that Coach Bond was telling about playing in that game and having 10 turnovers. This guy, Coach Howard Randall, uh, was my AAU coach. And ironically, he saw me, the first time he saw me was at an a and camp. This was prior to Coach Blair getting a job. But he, he, I promise you, wore Coach Bond's phone out. You have to come see this point guard. I know she's short, I know she's small, but she's really good. And I have to thank him for, um, and he's here. Um, I want to thank him for staying on Coach Bond's butt about recruiting me. Um, to Keisha Pettigrew and Risha Wilkins for being here from Tyler, uh, my cousin Frenchelle Henson, my great aunt Joanne Winkfield, my aunt Kay McAllister, uh, my grandmother, the heart and soul of our family, Mary Young, my, my brother Drew Smith, my sister Yasmin Smith. Uh, before the banquet started, I was told that I, I'm going to be an aunt, so I'm really excited about that. Um, 
And then last but not least, my mom. I, I, I saved the best for last, guys. This lady has sacrificed everything for me to be put in this position. Um, like I said, she, she recruited, I promise you guys, she recruited a and way harder than they recruited me. Um, we were at every game um, that we could get to, um, and I was always excited because I always got a new t-shirt. She always bought me an Aggie t-shirt. Um, but mom, this is for you. I love you and I thank you. Thanks and giggle.